If you can't even weld rebar flat, how can your monthly salary go above 10,000? Many beginners, when welding this type of R2 rebar flat weld, often run into problems like slag inclusion, porosity, and lack of fusion. The first reason is your current is too low. In other words, low amperage means low temperature, so the metal doesn't melt properly. Since this type of lap weld has a relatively deep groove, the current must be set higher. Secondly, you must melt and build up enough weld metal. Never push the rod forward. If you push, the flux coating gets ahead of the arc. With deep grooves like this, that makes slag inclusion very likely. Another key point is, always weld right into the root of the joint angle. Don't lift the rod up and don't swing side to side. If you swing, say to one side, the weld metal piles up thicker there and the flux can't hold it, so it overflows from the side. That's how inclusions form. Now here's the correct method. Maintain a forward-backward working angle of about 75 degrees. If the flux coating is sticking too close to the arc tip, meaning temperature is low, align with the weld center line and press the rod down to about one millimeter. Because flat welding uses higher current, the molten pool is very easy to observe. Directly below the rod tip, the bright white glowing part is molten steel. Behind it, the misty thicker part is the flux. If you carefully observe the molten steel right under the tip, it will be very clear. And this way, you won't have slag inclusions. It's not easy to film this, so I hope you can leave a free like and follow. Now, brothers, here's the outside view of the weld. And here's the inside view after welding. No slag, no porosity, even height, uniform width. With results like this, you can work confidently on site. Did you learn it, brothers? Subscribe Weldmaster India for more real-life production tips to make welding easier and more efficient.